got over the forts and, uh, and the, the city walls and took down Israel because they was growing up. Well, they had taken them out there went into the land of uh, uh, Israel. Now, you would have had intermingling between those people, and you got to where a lot of Syrians right now, they're actually descendants of the house of Israel, okay? Because there was a lot of intermingling at that stage. But the vast majority of them went, went where? They went out there into the, into the Americas. They're known as Mexicans right now, North, North American Indians, Seminole Indians, etc., etc. But the fact of the matter is, you had some spreading of the seed then, okay? Dealing with Jake now. And when the Babylonians came and took down Jake, the house of Israel, um, around about the time of um, uh, jo uh, 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 Jokaniah, okay, Joah king, the, all the sons of uh, jo was it? Jo the, the sons of Josiah, that dynasty, di uh, dynasty, uh, dynasty uh, period of time, okay, um, you know, you had it to where the Babylonians, they were besieging uh, uh, the house of Judah, okay, what's up kid, okay, they were besieging the house of Judah, okay, and then besieging the house of Judah after a period of time, they took him down. Now you had it to where Jeremiah, well, he was on the scene. He was saying, look, look, the prophets that, that, that are prophesying of peace, they're prophesying deceit because the Most High is going to take this house down because you're doing wicked. But even in that time, when the Babylonians took him into captivity, and then if, later eventually they, 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 well, their cousins, which was the media Persians, when they came into a uh, uh, flourishing, well, uh, what they had done was they had it to where they, the, the empire that the Babylonians has built up okay was translated into the empire which the media persians that owned that also that included the um the servitude that was the um uh the house of uh, 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 israel okay so they had it to where israel was one of those vassal states that, that that they had in, inherited and what they had was what, they, what you had happen was uh, under the guy um xerxes i believe it was xerxes okay he basically had it to where the um the they uh, the the conquered israel israelites that were in the land of israel at that time was allowed to go back was it xerxes no it wasn't it was in the time of esther okay i believe it was actually was it xerxes okay. i can't quite remember but pretty much the the uh, the prosperity of the uh, of the uh, media persian empire Okay, came about in them allowing the Israelites to go back and serve their own. But even then, you had it to where certain Israelites they stayed amidst the uh, 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 amidst the media persons, spreading their seed again. Okay, going into the times of the, uh, the Hellenistic period, if you will, in the times of Alexander. Okay, which came after what after the Battle of Granicus and, another, and the Battle of Isis. And uh, you had it to where Alexander, the so-called great, he took down uh, the, uh, the the media persons. And he took down was it Darius the third or something crazy like that. Okay, so he took down Darius, okay, and you had it to where Alexander said, so what, he conquered, he inherited the, 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 the established kingdom at that time, okay, and in, in, in inheriting all of that, okay, you had it to where a lot of Jakes, they were intermingling with the, with the, with the Edomites, with the Greeks, with the Ro and which later became the Romans. So you had it to where the speed of Jake was, uh, was being spread over the hundreds and thousands of years, man, okay? Yeah, come on. Uh, it's going to be uploaded online. On YouTube? Yeah. Do you think I can give your name a shout out? You want to you you give your uh, name? Your, 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 you wanna... A shout out? Um, uh, well, I, no, not really, because uh, this, this is a serious thing. If I was doing, if I was doing it like a, a music project, I would let you do that, but because it's a bit of a serious thing, um, you might say something that gets me into trouble. That's the only reason I'll say no. That's the only reason. If it was my own personal thing, then I'll let you do it, but because it's, a, it's part of a larger uh, a, a, a larger band of uh, orchestra, then, you know, on this occasion, uh, I'll say no. Yeah? Is that all right? Yeah, well, I only wanted to say like, 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 I don't know, I know what you mean, but because it's part of a larger thing, I can't, if it was my own uh, thing, I'll let you do that. But because it's not my own thing, I can't let you do that because you could get me into trouble. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, all right. Fine, fine. Thanks, man. What, is it like a, a bike channel or something? Uh, no, it's just a main YouTube channel. You do your gaming on there? Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Hey, but you gotta you gotta get off the um the gaming, you know, chase some women, you know. Yeah, yeah you gotta, you know, there's times you play with, with, with little boys' toys, and then you gotta grow up sometimes and, and be a man, you know. Yeah. yeah? All, right. All right. You have a good day. Yeah. You too. All right. Man. So um, going into um, going back onto the book of so you had to where Jake C was spread out throughout the four corners of the earth. And in so being spread across the whole world, in, uh, 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 an entire planet, and amidst all of these different nations, there was going to have to be an instrument by which, an instrument by which these nations, okay, the, the whole nation of Israel, rather more, was going to be brought back in. Or, uh, alternatively, looking at it, there was going to be uh, prophecies 
prophesying about those people coming back into the fold. Okay, that's where the prophecies of the Gentiles come into play, and that's a very uh, important uh, uh, part of the scriptures because that's that has, uh, that allows the diaspora, which is so fervently obvious within the scriptures, to come back into the lot of being Israelites. Okay, that's that's a fervently important uh, 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 part of the scriptures because the part is this part part of the scriptures is Israel being spread out throughout the four corners of the earth. How are they gonna come back in if there's no prophecies about them? That's where the Gentiles come in. So you got it where uh, uh, some individuals out there they're having they're having the way they're having you believe that these Gentiles is talking about the heathen. They ain't talking about a goddamn heathen, man. Okay, the scriptures talk about a favor be shown unto the wicked, which is really speaking about Esau, the Amalekites. If favor was gonna be shown unto them, they wasn't gonna learn to do the ways of the wicked, man. That's why they invented their own book, which was the Talmud, because the scriptures weren't they weren't dealing with the scriptures, man. They wanted to do something outside of the scriptures. So they invented their own book. They followed their own customs, man. Okay? Did their own thing. Because that's their nature. <laughs> Carnal. Not submit not willing to submit to the Supreme Yahweh. <laughs> okay? And the same thing applies to these different nations out here, okay? If faith will be shown to these different nations, well, really, the scripture goes as, uh, goes as says this. If these prophecies were there, we were out there and prophes prophesied uh, these words of these book unto Moab and Ammon and all of that, they was actually going, they were actually do right. So, you know, to, for completeness, we know that these nations, really, they will do right by the Moab side, but it, these scriptures don't pertain to them. <laughs> they don't pertain to them, okay? So Amos, the ninth chapter, and the ninth verse, it says, for lo, I will command, and I will sift the house of Israel from among all nations, like corn is sifted in the sieve, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. So the least Israelite that is out there, Mr. the Moabite somewhere, that's not going to fall to the earth, man. The Most High is going to send the angel out there, it's going to pick that individual out of that flock, okay? He's going to return to his natural form, having his mel melanin or whatever, whatever, his stature, okay? All right, he's, he's the fullness of his spirit. He's gonna have all of that when the Mosai returns, because the Mosai is gonna do that sifting, man. So that these, this house, the house of Israel, may be established upon the face of the earth, man. And the name of the Mosai, the name of the Mosai will be praised, man, feared and revered, man, and magnified. Okay, and the name of Israel will be uh, 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 praised upon the earth right now, because we ain't praised upon the earth right now. They look at us for an infamy. We're not famous out here. We're infamous, man. Okay, so it says here. Um, Right? And all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say, well, the evil shall not take overtake us, nor prevent us. All right? In that day I'll raise up the, the tabernacle of David, which is fallen, and close up the breaches thereof. Okay? But the gaps between the, the house of Israel and the house of Judah, that's going to be closed up, man. Okay? That's why you're seeing brothers that are from the so-called Latin-speaking tribes. Okay? They're coming back into the fold, and they're of the same mind, the same breath as the house of Judah, man. Of the same mind, right? Or in the establishment of the house of, uh, of David. Because you go back into the time of King David, he didn't just have solely and 100%, uh, 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 what you call it? He didn't, he, just, he didn't just have it to where you had just Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, and that was it. You had it to where you had all 10 tribes and missed all of those people. But for the most part, it was Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. And for the most part, out there within the house of Israel, you had it to where you had uh, 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 the, rest of the, um, the rest of the nine tribes uh, 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 and some of the Levites. I believe they, they had the Levites, but then you had it to wear um who's this guy, Jeroboam? He got rid of all of the Levites at some point. Okay? So um let's go back up to the scriptures right here. So says in that day, in that time will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen, and I close up the breaches thereof, and I'll raise up his ruins, and I'll build it as in the days of old, okay, that they may possess the remnant of Edom and all the heathen which are called by my name, saith the Lord. So when you go into the geo geographical positioning of Israel. Okay, and, and Judah, the kingdom of, 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 of Israel, then pretty much you find out that um, uh, Judah was, uh, was, on the, uh, was on the southern part, and the northern part was the house of Israel, Samaria. Okay, uh, south, of, uh, south of Judah, you had um, Tyre, and then uh, south of that, I, had, I think you had Zidon, or vice versa, okay, or which were the, the remain the remnants of the Canaanites, that, uh, that weren't killed off in the time of Moses and Joshua, okay? So they set up the, uh, the Tyrian Empire, okay? Uh, um, uh, they set up the Tyrian Empire north of us, okay? But uh, uh, south of, of the Phoenician Empire, if you will, was the house of Israel. And south of that, you had um, you had it to where, I believe it was, the I think Esau was, was the southeast of, of, of the house of uh, Samaria. 
if I'm not mistaken, around about that area, he was on the eastern but more southern part. If I'm if I'm not mistaken, I gotta try to visualize the map in my head. Okay, and then you had Moab uh, thereabouts too. Moab and uh, 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 and Amun, they were you know, you know on the same geographical location. So when when the Mosai sets this whole thing in motion, and we go back into our own lands, well, they they did Esau being destroyed from the face of the earth. He's got no land to divvy up for himself. So we're going to possess those lands. Okay? That's what the scripture is talking about here. Okay? So now let's go back onto the uh, topic I was dealing with. And I was really dealing with this statement here where if it is said, In that day, I'll raise up the tabernacle of David that has fallen and close up the breaches thereof. And I'll raise up his ruins and I'll build it as in the days of old. Okay? That's a, an important statement. Because that's a, that's a statement of that we're living through. We're actually living and breathing that statement right here, that prophecy. Okay, so let's go into the book of now. Um, we can go to the book of Ezekiel. Okay, we can go to the book of Ezekiel. The um, uh, we, I'm a Hebrew Israelite. I mean, I'm an Israelite. It's not a religion. I'm um, I'm not from a tribe of Levites. Okay, sorry. Uh, um, uh, technically. Uh, technically, no, because to be a Jew, you have to be of the house of Judah. Oh, okay. Okay, but in in the history, um, this um this group this, in the history, the house of uh, if you know anything about the scriptures, those twelve think, tribes, yeah. right? These twelve tribes in the time of King David, or rather more in the time of after King Solomon, you had um two sons of King Solomon, two sons of King Solomon. No, it was uh you had it to a uh, one of King Solomon's son, uh they in, inherited. Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, because the kingdom was split up, and I believe it was Jeroboam that had the rest of the nine tribes and the Levites there. So Judah, Benjamin, and Levi came to be known as Jews. Okay, and the, the house of Israel was over there. Uh, they was on the southern, southern part, uh, southern, uh, uh, more, um, yeah, they was uh, on the southern part of Judah. Okay, they was in, in, in location. So that they existed as two kingdoms after the time of King Solomon. Oh, there's hence the words Jews. Oh, the many of your whatever you are. Oh, there's laws. There's laws. Uh, there's a lot of Israelites out there. They just don't know they're Israelites. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> the people are the people that you have out there within the land of Israel right now. They're not the real Jews. Oh, okay. They they converted to Judaism. They had a choice between Judaism and I believe it was uh, 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 Islam. Yeah. But they're not actually Jews by way of uh, what you know as blood lineage, if you will, uh, DNA, if you will. Uh, inheritance, yeah. if you will. Okay, so my heritage, my inheritance, my heritage is the the house of Levi. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I never knew from that. Oh well, well, the, well, when you inherit, when you inherit your father's a house, that's the same thing I'm dealing with. I'm just going all the way back to the times of the Bible. That's it. People yeah, tell uh, we go back to the times of the Bible, but we go back to the New Testament. Well, this is all the New Testament. You go to the book of you go to the book of Revelations. It tells you that the, or the people that are gonna uh, in, inherit the earth was the twelve tribes of Israel. It got talks about the one hundred forty-four thousand, and it talks about the one third. All right, because you go into the uh, the book of Deuteronomy. The book of Deuteronomy tells you that this house was gonna be spread out for the four corners of the earth. That's part of the curse, and part of the blessing was that house being spread out for the four corners of the earth was gonna be brought back in. That's what the Gentiles is talking about. The Gentiles is this same house that was spread out for the four corners of the earth being brought back in. Okay? Alright. This is just a standard Bible, that's all. Nothing different. Old New Testament and Apocrypha. Alright. So um I wanted to go now into the book of um uh, um Book of um, Ezekiel, thirty-six chapter, or thirty-seven chapter. I might, uh, I pick which one I'm gonna go into. And I go to Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter. Then I go into um, um, uh, 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 I believe it's. Uh, I, I, I'll see how it goes. I'll see how it goes. But it's one of the Ezekiel. So yeah, yeah. Ezekiel, the thirty-seventh chapter. Then I go to Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter. Then I go back to Ezekiel, the thirty-sixth chapter. Okay, so bear with me as I go through these scriptures. You know, the point is it really has been made. But I want to go into the scriptures dealing with, with it, and that's this 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 thing of the, this diaspora, the Gentiles being brought back in, and Jake coming back to um coming back to the, the knowledge of who they are, uh, 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 falling back into the lots of the Mosai set them forth, 
and really these devils, these passive aggressive devils, uh, being put in chains, man. Because that's that's a beautiful thing. Okay, knowing that you're Israelite, uh, knowing that the, the Most High really ain't got no qualms with you if, you if you're following His laws, His commandments. Well, you might have to catch some hell now. But ultimately, when the Most High sets us up, you're gonna be doing nice, man. Okay, especially if you if the Most High has it to where you're part of the elect, you're gonna be doing all right. So Ezekiel um, 37 and 1, so it says, um, The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out into the midst uh, in the spirit of the Lord and set me in the midst of the valley which was full of bones. Okay, so um, this low land, this valley, was the land of America. Okay, now let's go into the book of um, book of Psalms uh, dealing with the, the valley of the shadow of death. Okay. Because that's that's really um that's really uh, uh what we what we um uh, um okay that's really um uh, uh what we what we in man okay that's what really what we're dealing with okay so let's go to the scripture right here from the book of Psalms right quick open up the app okay let's go to the valley of Sal Cause see people they they really they read about these scriptures they go into these things but they don't understand what it's meaning man. Okay, so valley, uh, and if I put death, I should be able to get up the scripture right here. And this is dealing with America right here. So when King David wrote this, he was talking about America. So this is in the book of Psalms, the 23rd chapter. Uh, and I'll start, I think I'll start from the top. Then I'll go to Psalms, the uh, 21st chapter on the 16th verse. Proverbs, the 21st chapter on the 16th verse. So uh, Psalms 23 and 1. Okay, so it says, The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green, green, uh, uh, in green pastures, and he leadeth me beside the still waters. Now, a lot of people, they think that's some flowery thing that's going, that's happening, and that's that's indicative of the lifestyle they're living. This is talking about when the Mosai leads us into, uh, in, into, uh, into the green pastures, man. The green pastures are uh, where the kingdom's going to be established. This whole wicked society is destroyed, man. So this is a good thing for us as Israelites, but for the rest of the world, that's a bad thing, okay? Because it's going to be mean the, the demise of their society, man, okay? But as, as far as Moab is concerned, as far as Am is concerned, they should be rejoicing because in the destruction of Esau's society, they have a certain amount of uh, 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 liberation. <laughs> they're going to be still in captivity, but the scriptures talk about the continuing stroke. Well, they're going to catch judgment, but after the judgment is set, set forth and done, they're going to be doing all right, man. It says, um... He restoreth my soul, he leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. And that's just a beautiful scripture right there. The Spirit got me to read that because that actually ties in with Ezekiel the 37, 36 chapter, which I'm going to go into later. All right, dealing with how the Messiah is doing this whole thing of setting up the tents of Israel and bringing forth us uh, into, basically into salvation, okay, for his name's sake. So you got guys out there talking about the name of the Lord, don't matter, man, they're going to be destroyed, man. They're, those guys are going to be destroyed, and they're perpetuating this valley of dry bones. They're perpetuating dehydration. Where we're coming here with the waters, <laughs> the green pastures, okay, and we're leading you leading you into the still waters, and these are guys are saying, look, don't go into them still them waters out there. That's, that's the path of destruction. That's what they're saying to us. They're scoffing against us. Where we're leading you into the hydration, man. We're leading you into the fountains that spring is forever. And they're saying that, that, that that's wicked, that, that we're wicked yeah, for doing bro. that. All right, man. Okay, so it says, he restored my soul. He leads me into the path of righteousness. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, which is America, because every time you go into America, when you walk into really America, which is really this the vibration by which this whole world is under. Because every time you're walking out here within your society, you gotta look over your shoulder. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, all right? Every time you're walking within this society, you gotta look over your shoulder because death might be behind you. This is the valley of the shadow of death, man. Okay, especially out there in America, you might get killed by some cops. And if you get away from the cops, your own brother might kill you. You might go home, you get hit with a straight bullet. Okay, you eat some food, he might kill you. Okay, this is the valley of the shadow of death, man. Okay, this is the valley of the shadow of death. Death is around every corner. Okay, you might walk, you might cross the road, a car might hit you. Okay, so it says there, the road I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. 
okay i will fear no evil because why because we believe ultimately any judgment that's going to play about where with death is going to come about is by way of your abba shimmy outside and if, if esau did roll upon you and put you to death by way for, for account of this truth it's because the most i allowed him to do that and you was going to be the first ones on them chariots man so that's going to be that's a glorious death to die and bow see men glorified these things back in the ancient times right because men were men okay not not simps like, like you go out here today man okay they were they were raw back in the day man they was masculine and they glorified the death where they died for their god man now here it is you got dudes want to die over some 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 used meat <laughs> okay they want to go above and beyond for some used meat okay so it says here for, uh, for thou art with me the rod of the uh, the rod and thy stuff come okay so <laughs> Hey, that goes hey that goes into a whole nother topic okay because the rod and the staff of the most side you took about some sheep and you got into where some sheep goes about and, and, and into the um into a wrong path and you might have to hit that sheep to go back into the right path which is hell which is the adversities that you come into it really that's comforting because ultimately in, in that that comfort is going to bring about greater more comforts man Okay, it might be hell for a season, but really it's going to bring about more comforts. Uh, Paul spoke about that. Okay, so it says, hey, um, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies, and thou will notice my head with oil. All right, which is this word, man. We're getting into this word, and the understanding it makes us blessed, man. Which is what you did with the anointing. You, you, made, you made someone anointed, uh, Christ, Mashiach. <laughs> Which is the express image that we're trying to follow under, and the Most High supping with us and anointing us with His knowledge. Uh, this is in the book of Second John, uh, was it two and two? Um, uh, it's something like that. Let's see if I can quickly pull it up. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have an unction from the Most High. Okay, was it Second John um, one and six? 